all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and a few days ago i made a video where i was talking to you guys about some of the tier 2 natives currently in the game that you should ideally not be building in 2019 because they don't offer that much value especially when you consider how much you need to invest to get those characters built up and a lot of you guys like that video so much so that you reached out to me asking me to do the exact same thing for some of the premium characters in the game i'm talking characters that you can only attain from the x gene selector and the bio selector so that's what we're going to be talking about today boys because we have a grand total of 31 premium characters currently in the game and every update we're basically guaranteed to get a new one and frankly a lot of these characters don't serve any real purpose besides soloing a shadow land stage for you every single week now for a lot of you guys that might be enough but for a lot of people it's not enough for people who want to make their dollars stretch as far as possible, in my opinion, it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? We need more characters that stand apart from the rest. We need more characters like Nick Fury, Ghost Panther, even somebody like valkyrie and i'm saying nobody really talks about valkyrie anymore for her dps but one thing she still has going for her is the support deal that will withstand the test of time and i'm saying damage will fade as we get harder and harder content power creep is a very real thing in marvel future fight but when you have something that is unique to you or unique enough that it holds significant value as the years passed in this game that's really really good right when valkyrie came out i remember she was really good for abx scoring over like 300,000 back in those days that was actually really good right at tier one she was doing that and i was very impressed with her i made a couple videos about her her survivability wasn't the greatest but she had good damage and her support deal just added on to that but her damage faded as all things will in marvel future fight but she still has the support thing going for her and that's what i would like to see in the future you know what i'm saying this is me reaching out to net marble right now we need more i guess unique paywall characters i'm not saying they need to be game breaking but they need to offer something something of value that when their damage fades the character still holds some use in the game for you like for example when enchantress first came out everybody was flocking to her not because she was the greatest character we've ever seen simply because she was the only character in the game that had the charm effect however time passed more and more characters now have the charm and now she has no value because you can pick up white fox she has the charm you can pick up sue storm who's a way better character sue storm is like enchantress times a thousand you know what i'm saying and she has the charm an even better version of the charm so yeah why would you buy enchantress when you can get sue storm now arguably sue costs a little bit more right six thousand six hundred crystals but you can save those for free you gotta shell out money to get enchantress so why would you spend your hard-earned cash when you can just save up some crystals over a few months and pick up a much better character in addition to that the deluxe package offers you the ability to do that mission over and over again unlimited bios you know what i'm saying chaos isos custom gears the works you know what i'm saying anyways man i'm rambling it's just food for thought now marble really needs to put some more thought into these premium characters and needs to be more than just oh this character is really popular let's give them okay or really good dps and put them in the bio selector you know what i'm saying they need to get something that makes it so that as time passes and the characters age they don't become like carnage you know what i'm saying because carnage was one of the best characters in the game when he first came out because he had good damage and decent survivability but as the game progressed damage is no longer enough and the survivability can't keep up to where we are in the game so he's left being nothing most of the player base wouldn't even consider carnage as a top 100 character right now anyways boys these are the 10 characters that we're gonna be roasting today and you guys can let me know if there's anybody on this list that you think doesn't deserve to be here or if there's anybody else that you think should be here okay i know some of you guys are gonna hit me up in the comments right away saying yo some of these characters are god tier for alliance conquest and then i'm gonna look at your comments and i'm just gonna laugh and shake my head and be like really bro <laughs> really you're telling me i should tell people to spend 10 15 right to pick up a character to use in alliance conquest 
you're talking to me bro you're talking to me the person who thinks spending more than 15 minutes in alliance battle right which has better rewards better rewards than alliance conquest you're talking to the person who thinks spending more than 15 minutes in alliance battle is a waste of time and then you want to talk to me about alliance conquest bro okay they miss me with all that bro you can miss me with all that the only two characters i feel bad about putting on here is actually sentinel and nadia and let me know how you guys feel about it honestly i think everybody else deserves to be here they served their purpose when they first came out but now they just kind of faded into nothingness right i feel bad about putting sentinel here because he has a really useful leadership for pvp and for pve to an extent we're talking giant boss raid you can use his leadership here right and you can protect yourself against the master mold mind control right i'm disappointed with what sentinel ultimately became because i think he had so much potential it makes me so sad to put him on this list as a character that you don't really need in 2019 and honestly the way how he looks is the way how he always looks so I don't even think he's ever gonna get a uniform right so his value is just gonna keep dropping as we get more characters with this leadership but man it's so sad and one of the great things about sentinel is just how unique his four star passive is and i would love to see something like this on basically every premium character they get something that is very unique to them and honestly if his entire kit was flushed out better he would be a much better character we take a look at this four star passive alone and it would make you think you're dealing with the ultimate counter for every mutant in the game i'm talking gene gray killer deadpool killer strife killer you know what i'm saying cable killer everybody mutant base killer right 70 percent chance to be immune to the greatest elemental damage received for six seconds meaning you hit him with fire six seconds he's immune to fire you hit him with cold six seconds he's immune to cold you hit him with lightning six seconds he's immune to you know what i'm saying that's such a cool effect something we've never seen on any other character but i'm sure we will in due time because nothing stays unique forever right and then you take a look at this increase the mutant character is 90 percent bro a 90 percent damage increase and then a 50 percent damage reduction Oh my goodness, you would think he would be the ultimate mutant killer, but sadly, that's not what he is. The rest of his kit just doesn't flush out well enough, even though I think his summons are really cool because they copy whatever he does and they last for a really long time. But like, man, it's so sad that I have to put him here because I think he had the potential to be pure greatness for PvP to counter all the mutants, you know what I'm saying? And then Nadia. Honestly, Nadia is a better damage dealer than her daughter, but that's about it where, it's, where it ends for her, right? The iframes are nice, the heal on her fifth skill is really nice, and if you're using her in a rumble with two other teammates, you can actually heal your other teammates with this, even though it says self, right? So this is good, but besides the fact that she's an ignore dodge striker, I don't really see too much value for Nadia, right? $10, $15 for this. Nah, you have free to play options that can do much better than her, right? And then we have somebody like Quasar, Bazar. I love you. I honestly do, but you gotta be here too because we have Captain Marvel in any of her two new uniforms and she's you times a million. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, absolutely nothing that Quasar can do in this game right now that Captain Marvel can't do times 50. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. PvP, PvE, you name it, Captain Marvel can do it. And I know that every character is on Captain Marvel's level, but I'm saying the energy beam, everything that Quasar is, is Captain Marvel. She's free. You know what I'm saying? You spend a thousand crystals, you get that uniform you have a character that's way better than a character that requires you to spend money so yeah i like quasar but unfortunately we have captain marvel she's way better why would you spend money on quasar in 2019 and then we have honestly one of the biggest mistakes i've ever made in this game ghost really despise playing with the character so freaking boring you know what i'm saying such a boring and lame character for me at the very least i thought she would be cool from the movie but no i honestly do not like the character at all and that's probably why you guys don't see me use her very much the leadership not very useful for anything right the support sure it's pretty good but if you want a speed character that's a leader and a support look no further than the great nick fury 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, she gotta be on here as a character that you really don't need in 2019. Sure, you could probably use her in Conquest and the mind control and all the crowd control. That would get stuff done for you. But again, why on earth would I tell anybody to spend $10 to pick up Ghost for Alliance Conquest? You get me? You feel me? Uh-uh. You smell me? Nah, bro. Because I smell her and she's pure garbage. Anyways, next up is Kid Kaiju. Yes, I bought the uniform for Kid Kaiju. If y'all want to see some gameplay with Kid Kaiju, hit me up in the comments. But again, he has to be here. The damage is way too low fam way too low he's fun to play right i like how his skills look but ultimately kid kaiju is not a character that you need in 2019 maybe if they bring back the world boss ultimate stage for super giant where characters that use summons do a lot of damage there then sure kid kaiju may have extreme value again but until then no kid kaiju is not a character that you need in 2019 a character that I very recently built and a character that you do not need. <sighs> Ironheart. Pure garbage. The damage is pure garbage. And even with the heal on her tier 2 passive, she's not really that useful of a character. Honestly, you have Iron Man now. Iron Man is pure awesomeness. You don't need her, okay? She's supposed to carry on his legacy. You have Rescue and Iron Man for that. Ironheart pure garbage until she gets a uniform so yeah and then we have enchantress we already touched on her she's eye candy you know what i'm saying as a big fan of enchantress from the comics i look forward to a uniform for her but the fact is they took a charm from her gave it to sue gave it to white fox and both of those characters are much better than her so she has really no value in the game right now then we have killmonger honestly you don't need Killmonger. He doesn't do anything really stellar. His tier 2 passive is pretty awesome. But even with this, his damage is mediocre at best. The best thing you can get out of Killmonger, you don't even need him to do it. And that is, get this uniform to Mythic. You don't need to have the character, but get the uniform, get it to Mythic, and you can get yourself a CTP of energy. I made a video on this in case you guys don't believe me. You have doubts. You think you need to have the character to do it. But no, if you have the Black Panther package, you just buy this uniform, drop a Mythic, the ticket on and collect a ctp of energy i made a video on it a while back you can go ahead and check that out for proof okay killmonger as a character lame absolutely loved him in the movie and i wish some of that awesomeness actually transformed or <laughs> transferred i should say transferred over into this game you know what i'm saying it's quite sad man put me in the ocean with my people anyways anyways man next up is <laughs> crescent and I feel like we're going to get an update and she's going to get a uniform that's going to make me take back what I'm going to say right now. But she needs to be way better than just a leadership. You know and I'm saying she's basically the only original character that Netmarble has right now. That's not a part of the meta in any way, shape or form. But I feel like in a few months, maybe a year, they will change that because they love their own characters and of course if something is your baby or someone is your baby you would want to give them the best treatment possible i.e sharon rogers luna snow right so eventually she's gonna be a great character but for now i do not think she is worth having she has a great leadership but you have titania who can come close to that and you have <sighs> she hulk who can do way better than that <laughs> right so overall she's not somebody that you need in the current state of the game and then we have my boy carnage waiting for that maximum carnage uniform you get me you feel me you smell me anyways right we need a lot more out of carnage i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for him to get a uniform it's actually crazy that so many other premium characters that came after him have already gotten uniforms and he's still here looking all naked as always right so yeah man i'm just gonna wrap it up right here i feel like these 10 characters that i chose for today's video really you don't need them for anything besides shadowland if you're trying to push the stage 130 to collect that ctp selector that's waiting for you at the end but if you get to that point <laughs> oh my goodness by the time you get to that point you won't even be thinking about spending money on this game because your account will be looking like you're the richest person on the planet and that's fine you know what i'm saying if you want to buy these characters despite everything i said today right you just want to buy them for the sake of having them i'm all for it go ahead and do that support the game so we get future updates and possibly one day all of these characters will be awesome and they'll have something that's unique to them that will make it so that as time passes even though their damage will fade and their survivability may 
fade and crumble, they'll have one thing in their kit that will make them useful for a very long time. That's the one thing I would like to see Netmob would do, right? It's very easy to just look at a character and be like, yeah, this character is super popular. The fan base is super hyped about it. Let's drop them in the X gene selector. Let's drop them in the bias selector and collect their money. It's very hard to give them something that's unique to them that's gonna be useful to the player base long term. And that way we can justify an investment, right? A lot of you guys will look at this and be like, oh, you have all these characters. Of course, you no longer need them. But even if I didn't have all these characters, I still wouldn't need them because there's not enough to do in the game with all these characters, 194 of them. And after the next update, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 197 at the very least, right? So we need more things to do ultimately, but some of these characters where we are right now, <laughs> they serve no purpose. And the more characters we get, the more their value will decrease, right? This is my two cents though. Hit me in the comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling. If there's anybody else you think deserves to be here or anybody that I put here that you don't think deserves to be here, you know what to do. Hit me up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to reply to you in a future video or in the comment section itself. You know what it is. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.